Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And we are back in Manchester. And in the last episode, we were um, harvesting a couple fields that don't belong to us. So let's get back to it. Uh, we just finished f this field number seven. And we're going to head over to field number six, but we got to get rid of the canola first. Otherwise, we will not be able to harvest that uh, oat over there. So, I had a comment from Reaper9111. And if you're not aware, he's the uh, mod author of this map. And uh, he was gracious enough to send me a, a comment thanking me for playing his map. And uh, I thanked him right back for making a map that was worth playing and you know told him I, I really enjoy the map and I enjoy the detail and I'm having a lot of fun Full up. Gotta go empty. So maybe if we have some real serious questions about the map, we'll be able to get some answers. So I've been busy this weekend. Um, my new computer arrived on Friday. Currently it is Sunday afternoon. And it's probably going to be a while before I get everything converted over to the new gaming PC because it's going to take a while. Um, some of the games are real easy. This one was really easy. All I had to do was load it up and move my saved games over and my mods. Just transfer the folders over. Simple as, as pie and I was up and running. Uh, the only difference is I moved my gaming keyboard over from the Franken PC to the new PC and so my macro buttons need to be redone but that's no big deal I do have a lot of games that are a lot more complicated than that my Skyrim and um, Fallout New Vegas games I've got over 130 mods on Skyrim and I've got almost 100 on Fallout New Vegas and um, they're all kind of particular so it's not an easy migration and I found that um, the Fallout New Vegas one I didn't have uh, as much trouble with it's a fairly new game though for me um, not in playing the game but in recording the game so I haven't been playing it very long since I started recording when I started recording uh, I freshly installed the game set up all of my mods and started a new character fresh and uh, so it's all it's all spanking new and I didn't have as many mods on it and the mods that I did have on it were all freshly updated at the time so I didn't have a lot of updates to do and I was able to duplicate on the new PC what I've done on the old one and grab that uh, character and, and start where I left off now the Skyrim one wasn't that way um, it said that my saves are corrupt and and I was able to get on the game with the uh, with the most recent character save but the game had issues um, as a result so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to clean that save up if I can't then I'm gonna have to um, to try to um, recreate the character somehow but it'll just take time but I've got enough recorded material the last two three weeks that gives me that gives me time to figure that out so I had a subscriber tell me that he was trying to do what I'm do 
doing and um, kind of go to the neighbors and borrow a cup of oats um, and harvest the neighbor's crops and he couldn't do it with auto combine so I'm gonna try to do this with auto combine I didn't do it with auto combine I don't think before I think I did it with um, with course play which is not a problem now the difference between the two um, course play you set up a course and you tell it you know what to do with auto combine you you kind of tell it what to do like I'm telling it that I want it to turn left at the end and I want it to go round and round and round um, until it's done blah 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 and it knows the uh, the proportions of the field that's not a problem the issue is is when you start auto combine you're actually hiring a worker now if I turn auto combine off and say I just want to hire a worker I don't own this field it isn't gonna work so now that did wonder why that did that's kinda weird oh uh, yeah it it starts to and then it doesn't so let me try I think I think I can go ahead well let me try it I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and just start the combine up and drive it myself and see what happens now I can do it manually it looks like okay so if you want to drive the course and do it you can do that but let's try auto combine because he was saying he couldn't get auto combine to do it he, he had to do it using course play so let's go now see it's working for me so I don't know I don't know what he was doing different so I'm just not sure uh, I don't know I'm just gonna let it go let me go get my trailer get him set up yeah the, the reason why I've been setting up these courses on course play uh, rather than using auto uh, combine is because auto combine and course play don't work that well together they they kind of fist fight a little bit and I'm gonna be using course play to run this tractor so I want him to work well with the combine so that being said I usually will go ahead and use auto combine uh, not auto combine but course play so but anyway now you know it works and I forgot to turn on um, yeah I want this thing to do the windrow because I want to pick up the windrow off this field but I'm gonna go back and redo this set of course for field number six here why not we can do it we have the technology alrighty okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, field work uh, we're going to calculate our own field edge um, and that means that we're going to um, do a user we're going to do field number six and we're going to make it um, we're going to overwrite the uh, dimensions of the field so what that means is when I generate the course um, it's going to say that it's a user's uh, generation and we're in the southwest whoops southwest we're going to be heading east 
I'm going to activate that just because no particular reason. Generate the course and save it as field six. And let's get to motating. We're going to have some oats. All right, here we go, loop de loo. That sounds like a jet plane and ready to take off. All right, let's go back here. We were doing, um, yeah, we're trying to get rid of this grass here. We were taking it uh, over to the silage pit, trying to make some silage. This is a huge pit here, but it doesn't seem to go to the ends. The trigger quits right about here. Yeah, I parked that tractor right in the way, didn't I? All right, yeah, so I had um, another uh, subscriber tell me that they were using Chorus Play and that they were having a little bit of trouble when they were selling their crops because their uh, trailers or trucks that they were using to haul the crops were crashing into fences and having a trouble getting to the sell point. Um, one of the things that I learned on uh, using course play in 2015 is the how squirrely the trucks are and the tractors are and so you have to kind of be careful you've seen me do it many many times on a field I'll be going at full speed and do this and it'll just go flying like that um, so here's the thing I learned that when I'm setting up course play routes like let's say I'm leaving this location right here okay now I'm recording I'm gonna record the course which means that uh, it's gonna copy everything I do what you have to do is to keep it on the straight and narrow is when you get ready to go to a corner slow down slow down and take a nice easy turn and then speed up again once you're in the straightaway because what's gonna happen is it's gonna copy everything you do if you're going at full speed and it gets to this corner up here uh, it's gonna spin out even in course play so you have to slow down and take a nice easy turn when you get to the corner because it's gonna copy everything you do while, when you're recording so just just you know just take your time you're not in a big hurry the secret of using course play to do these tri trivial tasks like selling your crops isn't necessarily that they're going to get from point A to point B lickety split it's that they're going to be able to do it over and over again automatically until it's done so I don't worry too much about going at full speed when I'm doing a course play course uh, because the, the more important thing is that it's going to do it over and over and over. Yeah, so, so all you have to do is record the course once. From then on, you push a button and it does its thing over and over and over. Alright, let me jump out of here. Grab this conveyor. Give him the boot scoot boogie in there. This is a nice little trailer. It for the cost of it. It's pretty cheap. To purchase. 
All right, I didn't hit the trigger. Now there is something too I haven't mentioned. You saw me in one of the last episodes. Um, let me get this guy going. And we have Windrill. Cool. Alright, I'm just gonna move this thing into the field. Um, we're gonna do combine course and start recording. Yeah, see, like right here, I slow down, take a nice easy turn, not in any big hurry, it's not a race. And slow down if you're going to make a, a, a turn, just make it easy, don't make it too sharp. But that might be what is it what his problem was because you know he kept saying that his equipment was in the fence. Well, if they take a corner, slide out and they hit the fence, they're pretty much going to be stuck. Yeah, I know cuz I've had it happen to me. And even I even though I know it happens, I still do it. I get in a hurry and when I'm doing my courses, you know, and and I'm um, not paying attention how fast I'm going. Kind of like real life. You're heading through town 50 miles an hour in a 30 mile zone. And uh, you're just listening to music, not really paying attention. Don't mean to be speeding. It just happens. Nobody notices until you get caught. And then it's a uh, tragedy. Okay, so this is, um, I screwed up on that last course. I'm going to call this grain because I called that last one field six instead of calling it field six harvest. And we're going to drive this course and get rid of this little bit of, um, uh, canola that's in this trailer yeah I goofed up on that I'm gonna have to rename um, that course to harvest field six if I keep it I probably will but um, yeah let's go back to this guy and he finish not quite not quite still a little bit of product left in there Yeah, I wanted to show you something about that little lawnmower buggy, monster buggy, that uh, I've known about for a while, and somebody just reminded me of it. As soon as I get this guy over there, I'll show you. My mind's jumping ahead of what I'm doing here. All right, let's go find that guy, Mr. Buggy Boodle. This guy, um, I, I, I discovered this by accident. Now, this is a lawnmower, but it's multi-fruit. And I discovered it by accident. Whoa, it's a rough road. Yeah, I discovered by accident that, um, like right now it's got grass in it. Let's go and, and dump this grass. Well, we're going to have to wait now. 
I wonder if I can dump it in. I can, I think, dump it into a, a, a feed trough for the animals. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. There's, is this water or is this feed? Grass not accepted here. That must be water. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I haven't fed animals yet, so I have no clue. But by accident, I discovered that this thing will pick up silage and other fruit. Yeah, this is for straw here, I think. Pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure. Yeah, this is for, what? wow, that guy's really in it deep, isn't he? Yeah, it's back out of here. That's for straw. Uh, let me out. Let me out. Anyway, I, I... Oh, I didn't see that guy before. Hey, buddy. How you doing? That's the first time I saw him. Anyway, by accident, I found out that when I drove this thing, I was trying to find something to compact my silage right so I was using this and I didn't and I didn't know this but I realized after a minute that if I looked down uh, where my speedometer is I was picking up silage in this so it was an, purely an accident that I realized that this thing does multi fruit so it doesn't do just grass you can pick up a lot of stuff with it Let's see, this guy empty? Not quite. So yeah, for a hundred bucks, that thing's well worth its weight in gold. And that's fun to drive. It slices, it dices, and for this uh, TV ad only, nineteen ninety nine. And if you if you order today, we'll get two of them to you by tomorrow. All right, let's see. Fill level's only 15%. Wow, this thing must hold a lot. Hard to say. All right, so that's that. Let's park this puppy right here. We need to get a water tank, don't we? I got a perfect water tank, but it takes a damn semi to... Oh, we weren't done. There's still a little bit of grass left. It takes a semi to pull it. I found this thing online. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Let's see. Where was it? That guy. That guy, that big water tank. The only problem is, like I said, it takes a semi to haul the darn thing. But, um, you can use a dolly. So, if you want. It's 31,000, um, whatever units that is. If it's gallons or liters, I don't know. Probably liters. But, it's a, it's a big water tank, so... And you know what? I don't think that I put a download link on that tank in my description. I'm going to have to find out where I got it. What's going on here now? Is that empty? It doesn't go down to zero? Huh. Well, it must be empty. Unless I just don't have it lined up right. Am I hitting the roof? 
No. What's uh, going on? Uh, what happened? I must not be in the heap. I think that's it. I think it's down to to nothing. Because there's always a little bit left to just show you what goes there. So anyway, I, I guess I was done. That you are through. Those must be ghost pigs, because I don't have any pigs in there. I want this water to splash, but it doesn't. Yeah, look this. Oh, I forgot there's a fence there. And I was going to try, by the time I came back on, I was going to try to make sure that I had uh, a course generated for this field so I didn't have to cut it manually every time. But I haven't had time. I've been busy. Oh, yeah, the weirdest thing happened with Minecraft. For those of you that may or may not watch Minecraft that, that I record, um, I was making a slime farm, and I had it all dug out, and I was putting in the hoppers and things to make it functional. And um, I had it, I had it completely dug out. I had all the hoppers in, and I was, um, I left the episode and was going to come back and put in the cactus that's needed to kill the mobs, right? Well, I migrated the uh, thing over to the new PC. When I did, it generated um, a big cavern right on the end of my slime farm and filled up the one side with stone. So now I have to dig it all out again and I've got water and, um, and lava running through my slime farm. Oh, it's just a mess. I don't know why it did that. Look, we have oats. All right, let's dump this guy. Cause I was gonna, I was gonna show you something. Let's just line her up. Get this guy. In. Hey, you move it. Move it. Okay. Whoa, this guy. He makes such fast moves. And I can't get used to it because it's the back wheels that steer. Let's, uh... Oh, let me turn around so I can get at the right angle here. There we go. And what is, uh... Unload. Q. which is A on the uh, Xbox controller. Q is A. Wow, it didn't hold much, did it? So anyway, here's what I was doing. Um, I was compacting the silage and somehow it was picking it up, picking the silage up. Now I probably can't get it to do it. What did I do? Did I hit... Did I? Well, now it's not doing anything. Well, because it's not silage yet, it's grass and it's not cutting it. But anyway, trust me, it picks up other stuff, so. 
wonder if it'll pick up Windrow. Nah, it'll pick up Windrow. Well, anyway, no biggie. Not that I'm going to use it for any of that stuff, but um, it does haul more than than what it's um, what you'd think, than more than grass. Hey, Rex, how's it going, buddy? You still constipated? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll have to get you some x lax or something. Poor guy. He's been standing there trying to go poo for a week now. Yeah, I want to buy animals, but I'm a, a little leery about getting them until I get all the proper equipment. I mean, I need to be able to buy a water tank and all kind of stuff. And I'm a little leery about that until, you know, this that 700000 is not going to go very far. If I buy another combine for some reason, that's going to take more than half of it. But I am, as soon as this harvest is over, I am going to buy um, those two fields. Alright, where's this other little trailer here? Alright, we have 711,000. I just wonder how much we're going to get for this oats and canola. And let's see what oats are selling for and where. Uh, oats, we didn't get much, did we? Well, we've only had one load, so it's a very small field. So, ooh, look at the price of those. Oh, my God. Uh, 4587 at the country or country trade. Yeah, country trade is the place to be. Wow, good deal. All right, we're going to the country trade. Everybody get on your Sunday best. We're going to Sears. Okay, so let's see. We have um, country trade. Really? Where'd my things go? Grain to co-op. Grain to country trade. I thought I had them set up in a in a uh, folder. Okay, so um, where's the oh oh there it is oats drive the course. Now I don't know if this trailer do oats. We'll find out real quick. Sure enough, I didn't think there was a problem because with that mod, I think even um, all your equipment will work, supposedly. And obviously it did, so there you go. Good thing it pays good because we didn't even get a full load, 65%. Like I say, that field is pretty small, so it's almost done already. I'm going to stop him because I don't really see any point in him emptying this thing when I'm just going to turn around and sell it. So I'm going to go ahead and set him up on the same course that last trailer's going. We'll make him go to um, the country trade. I wonder why they call it country trade. We're not trading. We're selling it, man. See what I mean? Whoa. Did you see that thing slide? Now see if, if you had made a course that was going that fast, that's what he's going to do. It's the, uh, you know, it's the physics of this game. Since they've 
changed to 2015 from 2013. All right, so let's um, stop that, and we're going to do country trade. Go back here, put that in that mode. Make sure we have. Oh, we already. Never mind. We've already got. Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 oats. So, but we're not gonna have any in there. I just want him to go. Just go, man. Drive the course. Yeah, see? See? See what I mean? Right there is why you're having trouble hitting the fences because I didn't slow down on those corners. I just went like bat out of hell. And when he's doing it, he's got no weight on him. He's got uh, a full, uh, well, not full, but three-fourths of a full load of grain. And it just pushing him around because I went too fast on the course. You know, I probably did the course with a tractor that had a weight on it that had more horsepower than this one. And there you go. Recipe for disaster. Yep, see, it just has trouble. It's the physics of this game. So remember, when you're uh, making a course, um, you know, it, it, it goes on what equipment you're using, how fast you go, how fast you turn corners. Yeah, like I say, in my case, I'm not all that concerned about speed. It's more of that it's going to be uh, repeated over and over and over, and I don't have to do it but one time. And from there, the drivers take over. Yeah, this guy, I doubt if he's going to have that kind of trouble. Because he's got a weight, he's a bigger tractor. Oops, dropped my controller. Shame on me. All right, so 7-Eleven, we got in these two loads well over, uh, well over 100,000. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we darn near got uh, 200,000 out of those two loads. This guy's just having a real tough time. I'm going to stop him here, though. And we'll go over and unload this combine. <laughs> if we can get him over there. <laughs> he thinks he's in the ice capades. I love doing this, too. Watch. Get him up full speed. Then jump out of the trailer. Or the tractor. Watch him. They just keep going. All right, stop this guy. We're going to stop the course. Whoa. I'll go, I'll go doing that. He's got a half a load of oats in him. All right, and then I'm going to get my windrower out. Windrow this uh, this field, pick up this chaff, or this uh, windrow, and we'll put it in the um, mixer, mixing station.
Yeah, I'm going to do this a little crazy way. Crazy. I'm crazy. Whoa, God. <laughs> Is this guy squirrely or what? I gotta get rid of these little tractors. They're pretty much worthless. Alright, I'm gonna do this backwards. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in and let the other tractor get it. He's a little bit heavier and well more suited for for the job. And there he goes. Actually, I forgot because we didn't have just oats, did we? We also have canola. So, where's the canola selling? Uh, canola. Co-op and, again, the country trade store. Yep, good old country. Wait a minute. Canola spell. It's more at the seed. It is no it isn't. Same price. Twenty eight thirty. Twenty eight thirty. Yeah, same price. So we'll just keep going. <laughs> this guy, I don't know if he's gonna make it or not. We'll see. Maybe uh a big crack up on the highway. Because he, there may be enough canola in here to get a full load. We'll see. Because he didn't have a full load when he almost cracked up the last time. He only had 65%. But that, that canola field wasn't much bigger than the other one. It was a little bit. Yeah, see, we already got... Oh, geez. This guy's going to be in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to be scraping up canola off the highway. You wait. See what this guy does in these S curves. Because this is where that other guy lost it right here, wasn't it? I did slow down a little bit. Yeah, see, he didn't have any trouble. But the other guy, he's going to have some issues, I'm afraid. Oh, jeez. The first corner issues. Yeah. yeah now he's having trouble getting enough speed up to get into a corner, much less around one. And he's done. I hope they don't meet up on the same corner. This could be uh, interesting. Very interesting. I really got squirrely on there myself when I drove the course, didn't I? You know, sometimes... Now, he didn't do that bad. Sometimes with the uh, Xbox controller, I'm really smooth, and sometimes I just have a devil of a time. Well, I don't know what's happening on your end of the farm, but this coming week is spring break where I live for the kids. Oh, joy. 
little screaming munchkins running around. Oh, I forgot to look at the scale. See what this thing weighed. But, looks like he made it okay. Looks like we're going to have almost a million dollars. Nope, we hit it. Hit a million dollars. All right. That's enough to buy those two fields, isn't it? All right, let him go. We'll see what he's going to do. We need to stop him. And we'll stop him there. And we need to set this to canola and have him start again. And with that, it is the end of the episode. When I come back, I'll buy those two fields. If you had fun, give it a like. If you have some friends, share it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It uh, encourages me to keep making videos. And I'll see you in the next episode. Happy farming.